Hello everybody. We're going to do a review, reaction, live thing of the Animorphs TV series. We should all know that this exists. We should have mostly all watched it. I know that I've watched it. The Animorphs Discord did a group watch over the course of a few weeks. It's been a while, but I know what happens. I'm here to discuss the show as we watch it. If I should play it all the way through. If it gets to an, a really egregious point, I will pause it and comment further. But we're going to go through it together. I'm going to supply my commentary where necessary. These are on YouTube, so if you want to watch it without my commentary, go ahead. It's on YouTube. You can go find it. Just type in what I typed in, Animorphs Episode 1, if you want to watch this episode. Well, let's start. The first episode is called My Name is Jake, Part 1. My name is Jake. Half an hour ago, I was just a regular kid. Sean Ashmore. It's amazing how quickly your whole life can change. Probably the most successful actor of the bunch. I'll say probably, he definitely is. Congratulations, Galactic Warrior. You are now in the Overlord atmosphere with 230,000 points. Please enter your name. Scanning enemy overlords. Surge. There is a reason that Homer is there, of course. And we have the best haircut ever seen on TV. Thanks to Boris Cabrera there, who plays Marco. Tobias looks like he does in on most of the book covers. Sorry, I'll mute my phone. You are now in the Magi atmosphere with 3,660,000 points. I will say... That the casting in this is actually quite good. I think that the main cast especially, they look the part, if a bit older than they would be in, if it was to be absolutely strict to the animals' books. Later. Oh, hi. Hey guys. One word. Again, I think Excuse the casting me, but I was great with this lot. Team. They all look the part. So, what have you been doing, <clears throat> Galactic Warrior? <laughs> hey, what's going on? That's not fair. You just got blown away. Hmm. Oh, no! This is where we get our first difference from the books. Homer was not involved in the first scenes of the books. They just decided to go for the construction site. But in order for them to achieve the same goal in the TV series, they had to chase Homer, who, for whatever reason, decides to go running off to the construction site. No reason given, it just happens. And Tobias isn't walking with them. He's just walking on his own. I will also say, the, I think the worst parts of the TV series are the music and the direction. You will notice that there's always some crappy 90s music going on in the background, like now, for instance. And as we'll see later in the series, it just gets played so inappropriately at the worst of times. I'm not sure about it. I, I don't really like the decision to have Homer do it. It just seems needless. It really does. They, they didn't need to do it. They could have... Uh, if they just skip, stepped, <laughs> stayed to the script, they wouldn't need to hire a dog actor. Actually, no, I do know why they bring Homer in, and we'll get to that in a minute. <clears throat> and there's Tobias being creepy. And Homer just goes and stands next to him. Thanks. Come here, Homer. Come on. Come on. It's <laughs> just... You're new around here, right? Look. Yeah. Tobias sees the ship. Whoa. Look at that. Too weird. Come on. Yeah. 
Not bad CGI for the time. That all looks pretty good. I'm in. Huh? And we're sticking to character. I wait up. Yep, that's Marco's character, all right. That's... Again, the music, I, I, I don't like it. <laughs> that little face from Tobias. <laughs> and now we come to the costumes. There's something coming out. Uh -huh. No shit, Jake. Hi, I'm even... One thing about Marco in the series, he does use the Mexican phrases, like you said, amigo there. That wasn't in the books. So I don't know why they've done that. What is this? I, I don't know, but it's definitely not from my hood. <laughs> Bad line. Oh dear God. Yes, we get it. And the slow motion shots don't add anything. There's another slow motion. <laughs> it looks like it's hurt. Yeah, so? So we have to help it. What if it's like radioactive or something? Oh, please. If I remember correctly, it was Tobias in the books who was the first to go towards the Andalite. So once he changed that here. Stay. Oh, shit. The dog is his thing. Very obedient dog. Best actor in the series. The costumes, as you probably all know, Maybe we should try are talking awful. To it. Yeah. Just let me get on my alien English dictionary. There's a reason that they're constantly cast in the shadows. Do not. I mean you no harm. Where did that come from? I heard it, but I didn't hear it. I heard it. In my head. We all heard it. I'm speaking to you in thoughts. Uh. <laughs> You're hurt. <laughs> we can help you. He thinks his gasps. Jake, give me a shirt. He's wounded. To be fair, I think they're doing the books as well. There's nothing you can do for me. It's gonna be okay. Cassie knows a lot about animals. <laughs> That's okay, Rach. Yes, Marco. That's just what I was thinking. I will die. But there will be others. Look at others. that. Look at the state of that costume. Unlike me, they have come to destroy you. There's a reason that Michael and Catherine wanted an animated show. Because you avoid this. What is with the hairstyle? The Yurts. They are the Yurts are parasites. They must have a host to live in. On Earth, their hosts are humans. They enter your brain and take over your thoughts and feelings. They don't These take over your feelings. Controllers. They can be anyone. Yeah, they don't take over your feelings. You're still conscious inside your own heads. You've still got your own feelings. Wait a sec. You're telling me that some slightly yeah. alien slug can crawl into our brains and take over our minds? And control us? Yes. There is no time for questions. That mask. I must do what I can for you. I have no choice. I can give you a way to fight. Now, where did that cube come from? Remember in the books, Jake went into the ship to gather it. Fangor has just pulled it right out of his ass. Everything you love will be destroyed. Your brothers, your sisters, your parents. They didn't want to spend the money on doing the interior of an Andalite ship. That's why. He didn't come down with that. We saw him walk out of the ship and he wasn't holding this fucking cube. And it turns orange when you touch it, apparently. Is that canon? 
Let's fake this show isn't canon, by the way. <laughs> if anyone was wondering. I don't think anybody anybody was wondering that. This gift is for you too. Tobias. Tobias would have been the very first to How do, do you know it. my name. Still a very obedient dog. Still holding the shots, building up the unnecessary tension. There we go. It is done. The power of change is in your flesh. Maybe just so goddamn awful. Change. What kind of change? You need only to touch a creature to acquire its DNA pattern and change your form. Change our form? You mean we can change into animals? Exactly. You can become any animal you touch and acquire, but remember, when you change, you must return to your human form within two Earth hours. Why? What happens after two hours? You will be trapped within that animal form forever. Camera shake. What's going on? Again, relatively good CGI. For the time. This is where all the budget went. Because it didn't go to the costumes. Go. Go. Your lives are more important than mine. Now go. 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 <laughs> so you're going to tell them to go and they get halfway away and you call one of them back. And again, something he just pulled out of his ass. Don't sniff it, Tobias. Yeah, the, the disc, by the way, is a major plot point. Not in the books. And now we we reuse the shots, just mirrored. <laughs> Vista 3 comes down, same costume. Cast in shadow because they didn't want anybody to see the state of the costume. Oh, this one's different. Dear God. It's a bad three. Halloween costume. Prince of Fine Lord. What an honor it is to be I saw movement in the store guy. I think that's the only time we ever see movement you in the store guy. It moved like an inch that way. Yes, I have taken one of your Andalite bodies as my host. Your Andalite morphing technology has been so very useful to me. To be fair, that is Vissa 3 in the books as well. You and your Andalite army are fighting on too many fronts. Your forces are spread too thin. Because the Andalites are incompetent, we know that. This will soon be ours. Why? <laughs> Why these people? Because there are so many. And they're they are so, so weak. weak. <laughs> I remember that line. Will be a billion strong. And then I promise you one thing, I'll thank God. I will return to your world. And personally oversee Let me see our first morph, I think. station of your entire family. I hope that they Yep, first morph. So then I can <laughs> And it's the worst <laughs> effects ever seen in TV history. We see a shadow against the wall and a crappy Halloween claw. There's the claw again. And now we see the controllers, humans with torches, over there. <laughs> the cast of bumbling idiots. <laughs> Release the Hawk Vegier. Yeah, we're going to see a, a brilliant portrayal of Hawk Vegier. It's going to be stunning. You're going to be left breathless after this. You're going to be amazed at the portrayal of Hawk Vegier. Cassie falls over a bit of wire. That's the sound of a Hawk Vegier. 
And that is your whole video. I know how. Thanks. <laughs> I read the book. E.T. with a bad hair day. They've really not been able to untangle Cassie yet. That's the vision of the Hawk Bajir, apparently. Great effects. But you don't get to see the Hawk Bajir running, obviously, because the costume is just so impractical. And the Hawk Bajir don't talk either, like they're doing the sit. Right, so Jake has just been hit by a Hawk Bajir, which is supposed to be really fast. And now he's gotten away. And the Hawk Bajir doesn't know where he's gone. Oh, great. The Hawk Bajir had him. And then he lost him. You're... And that's... Shocking. We're already seeing why this series was a letdown. We don't get taxons, by the way. They don't exist in this series. I don't think they're even mentioned. And Homer isn't spotted by the Hawk Bajir either. Come on. Come here, boy. Come on. This is why Homer was in the scene, in the first scenes to begin with. Because it turns out that as a diversion from the books, it's Jake who acquires the first morph by morphing dog in the pipe. And that's how he gets away. And there is the clear sign of a controller, the distinctive leg scratch. Unmistakable. <laughs> it's a pair of wellies with a couple of leaves attached to it. <laughs> and now he's acquiring Homer. Again, different from the box, Jake was very sceptical until Tobias showed him that he could do it. So, once again, another diversion from the books. That's needless, because in the books, Jake manages to get away by hiding and then running away while some homeless guy took the fall. It doesn't take much budget to do that. You hire maybe one extra cast member or take one from the, the fumbling, rumbling buffoons. That acts as the yurt controllers. But no, we have to go through this bollocks. To be fair, not as bad as it could be, the morphing thing here. Not as bad as it could be. At least we get to see it. I imagine an Animorphs movie would do a lot better job with modern technology. But yeah, they haven't done too bad here. It's pretty good. Remember when Jake... Um, Homer saw the spaceship, he was giving it all that in the background. Now that he's seeing another strange thing, he's completely silent. They managed to lose a torch. No, sir. Just a couple of dogs. Get those dogs, you fool. They might be Andalites. Oh, it's so cringe. <laughs> And there they go with a torch. Which, as we learn later on, are Dracon beams. So Jake now has a Dracon beam. No, so when I got home, it I might have just Jake. been a torch, I don't know, probably. He didn't answer. He's smart. He'll show up. Hey, Tobias! I do love Marco's hairstyle. See, I can feel this directing is just it's constantly moving side to side, flicking between characters. It's so nauseating. Quiet. You want someone to hear you? Stay still, camera. Focus on something for more than half a second. This is awful. There's no context to any of this. It's just going left, right, centre, fucking. And here comes the dramatic background music, which is not needed. There's enough drama in the words 
That's how I got away. You don't need to add to it with, like, <laughs> copyright f ro royalty free music that you've taken from so some pissed. crappy old 90s website. Oh, I was trapped. No, I had no other choice, and I remember what the alien said. So I put my hand on home. I just started concentrating. All of a sudden, I started, like, muting. You know, I could hear my bones crunching and twisting. Yeah, now I watched my arms become pods. I became my dog. You were Homer? Actually, a, a copy. I mean, Homer was there, too. Did it hurt? No, not, not really. I mean, it's hard to explain. At first, I didn't know what I was. You know, Still, I, this I, I direction is just... And the smells. It's not the cameraman's drunk. You don't believe me, Swaying dude. from side to side. It's just... It's just too weird. You know, beyond too weird. Way beyond. Hey, I swear, it's true. I'm getting yeah, sick just watching this. Stay still, true. camera! But it's not. What we saw last night was real. It happened, right? I'm getting an epileptic fit by the amount of how quick it's flashing between characters. So now what? We all, I'll so be on the floor we're... drooling in a minute. <laughs> Can we eat first? I'm kidding. What do we do? Where do we start? How about that blue dude? You know, the nice one. Elfangor. Yeah, he tried to give you something. What was it? It looked like some kind of a disc or something. A disc? It's gotta be important. He said to guard it with my heart and my soul. He knew your name. How come? Like I know. He's probably telepathic or something. But that disc, I mean, that's gotta be able to help us somehow. We'll have to get it back. Are you kidding me? Shh. They practically got us on the FBI's 10 most wanted list. Didn't you hear the news? Yeah, they're looking for some kids who set off fireworks. Fireworks? That's a laugh. That's Maybe legit, that was in the books. Maybe he's got yurks in their heads. It's just been doing... The, 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 the scene has gone on far too long. <laughs> At least with the camera direction we're getting, it just faces. feels like an awful roller coaster ride they here. Would have called us yeah, but we can't talk here. Anyone could be one of them. Controller. And the tense background music to add the dramatic effect and the slow motion. We get the slow motion tool. Is anyone going to rein in this chaos, or do I have to do everything myself? I'm sorry, Mr. Chapman. Incompetence. Incompetence. And Jake looks at the leg, and sure enough, there's the distinctive leg scratch. It was him. It must have been, because nobody else scratches their legs like that at all. Guys, can you... Can you... <laughs> From now on, we'll just talk to each other. How silly. Trust no one. Trust no one. Principal Chapman's in control. How do you know, Jake? Nobody asks that. How do you know? I saw him scratch his leg. Five That's how I know. Alien slugs. Oh, and there's and Chapman rubbing his ear. That's another clue. Free shot. And that is that. So how do we rate that first episode? Funnily enough, it's one of the better episodes in the series, which doesn't hold, give it a high standard going forward now, does it? I do remember what one of my favourite episodes was, but that's not until quite a few episodes from now. But that was My Name is Jake, part one. A lot of diversions, unnecessary diversions, from the story in the books. And I say unnecessary because it wouldn't have added to the budget. Yeah, sure, Hawk Bajir and Taxons, were they to do them well, would have required a much bigger budget than they had which is why Catherine and Michael 
decided that it should be animation. And they were right to say that because how much better would this series have been were it to be an animated one? I've said this before. I think the TV series was the death of the Animal series. I could be wrong, but I think it might have a big part to play. Look at Harry Potter. It got great movies. I'm not a fan of Harry Potter myself particularly, but the movies were very well received and very well made. I think we could say that pretty objectively. objectively. Whereas this is reno uh, renowned for being pretty dire. And that did not help Animorphs. Yes, Harry Potter is more suited to a movie and Animorphs is more suited to a TV series, but the mistake was having live action. And yes, Michael and Catherine were, were very right about that. Where would Animorphs be if it was an animated series where we got the Hawkbajir and the Andalites and the Taxons at least to some level right? Where we kept to the store and we didn't have to take these unnecessary diversions from what is canon. It could have been much better and it could have been a much bigger series today rather than the relatively large cultural uh, following that it got. So that was My Name is Jake Part 1. Please tune in next time for My Name is Jake Part 2. I believe this is a three-parter. So I'm going to stop this video here, but I'm going to record the next one and part three now. So you shall see them soon. So thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you for the next one. Have fun. Bye.